Hey, this is going to make your mouth water. Already. No, no <laughs> doubt about it. Okay, you can fry it. You can grill it on charcoal or gas. There are so, so many ways to cook a burger. But one tiny diner in Davidson County has seen a huge success in making burgers the old-fashioned way. It's even in their name. Fox 8 foodie Shannon Smith takes us to Nick's Old Fashioned Hamburger House to find out what makes their burgers so special. And then we'll give it a nice smash. Burgers really are a smash here at Nick's Old Fashioned Hamburger House. That smash right there is going to create a really nice crust. Cooks hand patty and smash fry 500 burgers on a busy day. They're juicy, delicious, uh, the right amount of meat, uh, the right toppings. Uh, that's really just the best burger that I've probably ever had. Single with cheese and fries. This is probably the best burger I've ever eaten. I think the main secret, uh, which isn't a secret at all, is just the fresh ingredient approach. Every burger starts plain. Customers choose the toppings like bacon, slaw, chili, and cheese, and even the amount of meat. They'll stack five burgers on one bun if you want. It's called the Intimidator, and it is five patties. And people eat that. People eat that. There are a few special burgers on the menu. Cook Noah Keaton created a burger for his lunch every day, and it ended up on the menu. The Noah Burger is a pimento cheese burger with uh, mayonnaise, onion, jalapeno, bacon, and barbecue sauce. If the burgers seem big here, just check out the pork chop sandwich. So we call it a pork chop sandwich, but it's a tenderloin. We beat it out. It's um, bigger than your uh, face for most people. Uh, it's a lot of overhang. Cooks pound out the pork tenderloin, then hand bread and fry it. The process takes a ton of time and work, so they only make them two days a week. Uh, when we make them, they don't last. They're, they're gone. You said it's, as, it's bigger than your face. Yeah. You were not lying. Look. No, it's, 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 it's big. We, uh, we like everything big here. <laughs> how do you even <laughs> How do you start? For a place that serves such supersized food, the diner itself seems small, just 1,300 square feet. That's one of the reasons Reader's Digest recently named Nick's one of the best small town restaurants in America. We have uh, a lot of people that you see every single day. Uh, they come in every single day, get the same thing. But now, with word spreading, people are traveling to this tiny town just to taste the burgers, some from as far away as Tennessee. I think some people see all the hype and they, they come in here and they, they expect it to change their life when they walk out the door. Uh, but uh, it's just a good smash burger the way they were doing it in the 50s and the 60s. While I admit the burger didn't change my life, it did at least make my day. I love the overhang and yeah. the bacon. In Davidson County, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News. That is really good. Good chef. I want to go there. I want to go. I want to go. Go. go too, uh, man. Uh, I want to go. You saw, the guy, you saw the guy with the salad, like, give I, me the grease, man, give me the grease. Nick's Old Fashioned Hamburger House is on Old Highway 52 and welcome in Davidson County. The owner hopes to take the hamburgers on the road soon as well. They are working on a Nick's <gasps> food truck. Cindy Farmer is going. I think Fox 8 needs to invite it here. You know, I would they not could test I wouldn't it here. complain. I wouldn't complain. No, no one would. <laughs>